All right, late night breaks. Bowman hobby case. We haven't done one since the 10 caser. I was like, eh, what are you doing? Orange autographs and stuff, maybe. Orange parallels, at least. We'll probably get an orange autograph. Uh, there's your teams. Bottom, oh, bottom five picks, two teams each, I think. All right. I usually don't have to for one trades. There is legacy. What is legacy down to? I don't know if we're doing it tonight. But I mean, I'll do it. If you feel it. I guess no one can really do anything super fun for 4th of July. Oh, you can, you can I guess. But, uh, yeah, we're going to take, take some time off. Breaks for days lately. So many releases, but there's more coming. Oh, hobby. Who's still with me to watch the Bowman Hobby? Oh, I got the auto zoom on every single time. Hot dogs. How the tables have turned. I do the base heavy breaks now. Oh, Jason Dominguez spanning the globe. First pack. Good cheese. Yamamoto, hidden finds. There's no like inserts or anything that are only in hobby, right? Just the oranges, is it? Kyle Muller. Jason Chrome. Did moving the trash can work at all for Jules? Ryan, or was her shoulder destroyed after last week? It's dead. Ah. Oh, there's a Royce Lewis gold wave for the twins. Go oh, Hawks. Oh, really? You might have to break. Jewel's on the microphone. Jewel's picking out short prints. Soto 90. All right, Poop. First autograph is a purple Micah Bello. Tam, your brewers. Well, purple autograph for a late pick spot, not too bad. The Sejas, that's the one per box. Atomic. 
Oh, got down to 12 on Legacy. Yeah. That's an Atomic Corbin Carroll. Top 100. Would you look at that? Why does it feel like in the summertime when it's 100 degrees every day, you just can't get clean? I take 100 showers, wash my hands a million times, still feel like I'm not clean. It's not even humid here. can't even imagine what it must be like for you guys in humidity. You just feel like you're never, you're just gross all the time. I'm ready for winter. Only like five more months of summer left. I'm not even sweaty. I don't know what it is. Just I feel gross all the time. Oh, there's a gold Glaber paper, Dominguez paper. Gold Glaber paper. Might as well take that, Jason. Um, yeah, a little bit. It's it's just the way our house sits. The sun just my house blocks the sun after like. 4 p.m. or something, most of it. So it's a little bit better. I still need to. I got a, a chainsaw on a stick thing that I have to figure out. I, I bought this chainsaw on a stick and it's I'm reading the directions. No, I'm not a DIY type of guy at all. Yeah, I should barbecue. That looks like a thicker stock card. Did I miss a numbered? Hold on. I see a thick stock card in my... Those are... What am I doing? Those are chromes. There's a thick stock card here. Uh, doesn't this look thicker? Oh, it's a paper. <laughs> it's thinner, even. It was just whiter looking. Okay. Um... Yeah, I got the chainsaw on a stick thing and I was reading the instructions and it's like make sure to oil the chain every time you use it. And it's like oil not included. Cool, so so don't use it then. So this thing I just bought, don't use it until I buy oil somewhere else. Got it. It probably comes pre-oiled a little bit. That pretty much sealed the deal for me. I'm not I'll press a trigger and cut down a tree branch, but if I have to put oil on it afterwards, that's one step too many. These are real dusty. Yeah, batteries not included. Grade was good. <clears throat> Atomic Ronaldo Hernandez for the Rays. Mm, yeah, we got the chain. But I think the chain maybe is lubed up, like pre lubed up, maybe.
Oh yeah. Yeah, we got some carbon fiber cards. Just and done. Didn't we get one on each? I can't remember. These are all dusty. Probably a rat got stuck in the rollers or something. Robert. And Jason Crow. Nails are like candy to robots. They eat tires like liquor. Oh, there's a Jason Top 100. Let's have an orange thing. Jeez, Gus Varlins. Get your Varlins! You know what we should get? There's wit. Paper, might as well set that aside now. You know what we should get, Ryan? We should like drill a hole in our desks with like a suction thing. You just put the pack over there and it's <laughs> So it's like already where you're reaching. Probably be pretty noisy though. Uh, I don't think he did watch Ghostbusters 2. I watched both Ghostbusters 1 and 2 uh, this weekend when I was sorting. It was amazing. But I decided Ghostbusters 1 is definitely better. They're both amazing. But... The end of Ghostbusters 2 kind of fizzles. It's not... Like, Ghostbusters 1 is good. Every minute of that movie is good. Bobby Witt. He's always after J.J. Bleday. You know what part is really dumb on Ghostbusters 2? I can't get over it. I've been thinking about it like a lot lately. Hunter Dozier. Where's our autograph? The stupid painting at the end. Why does the painting of Vigo turn into a dumb painting of the Ghostbusters? That doesn't... It's not funny and it makes no sense. I hate that. And then... Vankman even makes a dumb joke that's like, I think it was one of the Fettuccini brothers. That's not even funny. I don't know. That part sucks. Trout. A wizard did it. That's that's Trout when he sees the end of Ghostbusters 2. He's like, yeah. I expected better. He made his own props. Well, props to him. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's have an autograph. Let's see this autograph. It is... <laughs> More Brewers! Thomas Dillard Refractor. Yeah, whoever wrote that part, they should have cut that out. The first one's just classic. It's so good. I had many thoughts from my 9 millionth viewing of Ghostbusters, but seeing them back to back. Another thought I had. Yeah, the whole Statue of Liberty thing. Couldn't you? Eh, it's kind of dumb. Eh, it's alright, but... Not as good as the first. Not as good as the Stay Puft Marshall made. The other thought I had was like, why does Dana get keep getting back together with Vankman? He's like a creep. It's like hitting on twenty-year-old college students, and then they they like get together, and then you find out in two that he started referring to her as the old ball and chain, and then she leaves. And he's such a loser. <laughs> like Dana's better than that. That's my point.
Like Dana could only get one of the Ghostbusters, she could have any man she wants. Adaman. As a kid, I thought like, oh, Bill Murray's like the coolest. He's so funny, quirky, and doesn't take anything seriously. Then as an adult, you're like, that guy's annoying. Take something seriously, please. Uh, Joe Adele to 125. No, it's all unbelievable. It's just not funny. The statue's... The painting's not funny. The statue's kind of like... Responsibility, ever heard of it? Yep, see? Blade wit. Every time. Sometimes there's a Blade without a wit, though. It's weird. So not every time. There's just no reason for the painting to turn into a terrible painting. It's not even good. If they made like a renaissance painting of them, the painting, mostly the painting is just dumb looking. It's so 90s looking. Mateo, it's the one per box atomic. They should have made it a cool like Vigo painting or something. Yeah, it, it is actually. Now that I think about it more, I mean, also, why does the painting have to turn into the Ghostbusters? It would still be just a painting of Vigo. There's no reason for it to change. If I'm being perfectly honest. Yeah. Just don't even have to show the painting. We we saw him die already. It's no painting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm really I mean I'm picking on two of my favorite movies of all time. So it's just that Ghostbusters one is basically perfect. I don't even know how to criticize Ghostbusters 1. And Ben Bramer, Refractor Auto. Serious Chef, your Nationals. Goes with the Gozarian. I like Ray's speech to her that's like all, sounds like all, uh, not like, polit like a politician, but. Remember what he says? He's like, there's something about exiting this dimension forthwith, something. Uh, yeah, that'll work. That ought to do it, Ray. Thanks. Are you a god? No. <laughs> yeah, as a duly designated representative of the city, county, and state of New York. <laughs> so, Ray. The nearest convenient parallel dimension. That's a great line. Also, a sneaky good part of Ghostbusters 2 is when uh, Bakeman goes to Ray's bookshop, Ray's a cult. Ray's a cult. I'm looking for a certain potion that I could spray on penthouse pet. Ray, let's close up so you can buy me a calzone. No, I can't. I'm working on something for a friend. Oh, who? Just an old friend. Who? Uh, 
Uh, nothing in this yet. I thought you, I thought you got some like a Zion photo variation out of. You got the Pelicans like two times, at least two times. Was there no Pelican good stuff? Who? Ah. Dana Barrett. I thought you got some something from the Pelicans. Lil, yeah, little German got a photo. I swear we got two photo variations. Was that the one that Bellhawks didn't have the Pelicans in? You were the envy of the chat getting the Pelicans multiple times. I thought you got something. A little German got him. There's like three people who got the Pelicans in six breaks. Crossfield? Oh, is it in Calgary? Vargas. Vargas. I swear we got two photo variation Zions. Am I crazy? Where's where's Omni? Nothing in this yet, but we're only on the fourth box of twelve. There's still time. I didn't know it was filming Canada. No, but the other line from that is like, oh, uh, Pete, your book came in. Mystical Pathways to Fame and Fortune. <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, really? Dang. Jordan Ball Ozovich. Yeah, I know everybody is these days. Used to be when I was breaking, people were happy to get crappy teams or I missed an insert in there. I just saw. Just kidding. No one was ever happy to get crappy teams and crappy cards. It's been like this since the beginning. And it'll be like this till the end. <laughs> yeah, it used to be they were just happy to be in the break. No, it was never like that. Oh, well. The only difference between now and then is the breaks used to be a lot less expensive and you could just go buy boxes at your LCS for a reasonable price. Now you're like, oh, let's see, do I buy a Spectra spot or buy a thousand dollar box of Spectra? You can't even... Adam Hall, base auto for the Orioles. Weak sauce boss. If your LCS even has a box of Spectre basketball. Boy, those damn breakers ruined everything. Stupid breakers. I hate them. Ruined everything. Yankee. There's only one Yankee in the whole case. I missed that when I was eating dinner. You know, back in the day, the leaf stuff would you would get like a Jason. Or a, did we get a a Wander? Tell me there was a Wander if there wasn't a Jason. Oh, there was a Lux ten I saw. Oh, wit. Jeez, even when you buy the best teams and you get the best teams and some of the randoms, still. What can a guy do? Everything has to fall just right. Freaking little German. Yeah, better luck next time. There's still eight boxes, eight and... Nine boxes of hits. Wait, did we just get the auto? Yeah. All right, eight boxes left. I want to see some orange stuff. Used to be we'd get, there's a Jason paper. We'd get uh, orange inserts, orange parallels, because there's none in the hobby, or in the jumbo. 
Is that not how it is this year? I don't remember. It's been a month or two since we did those five hobby cases. So far, no oranges. Schwartz rings. Well, I know I'm just asking for the big hurt. Thought I'd give us one more chance. Hello, Peter. Hello, Peter. I think we've done hobby boxes and mixers, but I don't think we've done a full hobby case since the 10 caser. Could be wrong, but pretty sure. What kind of fool would break a full case of hobby? It takes a hundred years. Great little purple paper. I kept them around because, you know, like we used to have this kind of stuff on Saturdays, Omni's Day, just a bunch of base heavy stuff, but now that we don't have any sorting help, that's out the window. Now I'm going to do some basey stuff at night. I'll do some here and there. I'm the new Omni. Jeremy Pena is the. <laughs> yeah. Oh, should I start saying now that we're not doing a 10K Spoman Draft? I better start doing that now. Definitely not doing 10K Spoman Draft. Riley Green to 299. Is it early, too early to start with that talk? I'll wait till we're a little closer. You really won't believe me if I start saying it now. Oh, there's time. You'll change your mind. My kids? Psh. Yeah, right. I'm worthless. They're not old enough yet. My kids can help for maybe like 20 minutes and then they start complaining and whining, which is about 10 minutes before I start complaining and whining. I don't know where they get it. Not breaking 18 tops chrome as well. What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I probably said that too, huh? Omni made me do it. I still don't, I didn't want to do it. I would have kept those cases forever. Forever? I bet they'll be worth double in like five years, even with the, with the uh, expired redemptions. I'm gonna bring it up to Omni like every year. Look Omni. Boxes are a thousand now. Look, Omni. Boxes are two thousand now. We did pull a nice purple, but it was live, so that didn't really. Did you get my email on the redemption, GoHawks, that you hit? I don't know if you cared to redeem it, but hopefully you did. The Domus isn't terrible. Yeah. Oh, you did. Uh, oh, there's a nice blue Valera for the Dodgers. M.W. Claude. Well, we've had a blue and a purple and two refractors. Blue, purple, two refractors. It said it was already redeemed? No, it did not. Are you serious? <laughs> you better be joking. Mookie Betts to four ninety nine. No, I didn't get your email. No, I don't think you're joking. At first, I thought you were joking. <laughs> oh, he is kidding. No, I read emails. I was like, I scratched that personally and emailed it directly to you. So the only person that could have stolen it is me. Or someone who's hacked into my email, I guess, and really loves Lily Adamas. 
for you. No, I didn't get your email. You didn't even email back and say, I got it, thanks. Got your email, I redeemed it, thanks. I worried about it all weekend. God, I hope he got that email and redeemed that card. But he hasn't answered back, so he probably didn't, and he's never going to get that redemption. Should I just redeem it? Maybe I should redeem it and send the card to Bill Hawks. He probably doesn't have the time. He's busy. He's working. <laughs> two to three years. He's not joking. It really did take two to three years. I can't believe they actually did that. I thought there was no way after you didn't hear back for one to two years. Rough night, Go Hawks. Well, you know what I always think when things are rough? I always say to myself, well, it'll get worse. Six lots, that seems good. This still sees you a lot. Swabby. Hello. There's a wit chrome. Bobby Whit. I just watched the one with the doctor thing. Where they paint where Elaine paints the eyebrows on them. I don't like your demeanor. My demeanor? Is that what he says? <laughs> Stay, stupid thing. I also saw the one where, you know, Kramer sends the stereo in and gets damaged. And... Oh, there's a Logan Allen hidden finds to 150. What's that rant that what product do I have at my house right now? Legacy football. <laughs> and this. We broke all the, the basketball I had. I didn't have Omni bring me any more stuff. Just a legacy. Yeah. Anthony Volp, Atomic, that's cool. I wish I could remember the line that Newman says when he's like, Oh, how I've waited for this day. Where I could pull you from your cushy lair. He starts ranting in the other the other post office guy. No, man. <laughs> All I remember is cushy lair. Go Hawks? Nah. He throws all his cards in with the deals when he sells slots. This is a nice uh, three-quarter acre lock. Comes with a Otani finest autograph I pulled from Cardsmith Breaks. Circa 2018. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Anyway, we'll just take the land or whatever. That's a secret. Best salesman in the Midwest.
as a Jason Chrome. Actually, what he's done is he's buried his collection over time under all these locks. <laughs> Some le legacy numbered vet parallels. I'm like, what? Never mind. You don't need to understand it. Just trust me. It's a killer deal. Bad chicken. Mess you up. Oh, there's an orange. Jeremy Pena orange wave. We got an orange thing. A nose thing. That looked like milk to me. I'm going to have to move in with you. Tries to like... <clears throat> throws that cereal with the tomato juice in the trash and gets it all over the wall and like... <laughs> mops it up and wrings out the dish towel in back into the tomato juice can. Tomato juice thing. Uh, Connor Cannon to two ninety nine dollars Sparkles. One touch. Combo spot glory. You sorted shift vet base and inserts. Yeah, that's probably the difference. Those stupid inserts. I thought I would ship inserts on the first one. There's a million of them and they're all the same. Six of 25. Oh, like the lots you're gonna sell? You gonna sell 25 lots a month or what? Dominguez. Yeah, it's rocking back and forth. I like when Kramer's watching the first time he sees um, Newman with him. He's just watching him eat it. I don't know. The man makes a pretty mean bird. is negligible. Uh, Elaine's buying all the stuff on the company credit card and George buys that $8,000 Russian hat and George is like trying to date that girl and the Costanza go stanza. Give me a call if you've got the time. Steals her clock. The rat hat. Yeah. Tries to get Peterman to sign the thing and he goes, but I will need to see this hat. good for business. It's not going to be good for anyone. The Aristotle Gustav tunic. Nick Bennett. She's wearing it and like watering the plants with the water pick that she bought. Can I fire you? No. <laughs> Another bullseye. the day hunter green to 499 hunter green's back right and he's like pitching 
I saw like videos of him pitching. I don't know what level he's at. Forrest Whitley. Oh, that's a uh, yellow. Brandon Howlett. T Weeks. 75. Well, there's been a lot of color autographs in this case. Urban Sombrero. I was telling Omni how I don't like how they, or no, that was Brian. Tell Brian, I don't like the episode that's called The Fatigues. I never remember which one that is because the fatigues part is just that guy, that crazy guy that works in her office in the mailroom. But there's way other funny stuff going on. That's not even funny. But it has George's dad cooking, <laughs> doing the, the Jewish mixers thing where he's cooking. That part's amazing. Yeah. I sent 12 of my, men, my own men to the latrine that day. Great America, that's a good one. a chicken involve a chicken darren's help you find that chicken i don't know it's tough to beat the kenny roasters kenny rogers roasters on that one might be the best one ever <laughs> you're still here Opposite one used to be my favorite. When George does everything the opposite, that one's amazing. Who are you, George Costanza? I'm the opposite of every man you've ever known. Come on, give us more oranges. I've only had one. I demand more oranges. I'm George. What does Elaine say? She like punch. She hits him in the head and she's like. Was that opposite George or regular George? Regular George. Stick with the opposite. Orange auto, orange auto, orange auto, orange auto, orange auto. No bagel, no bagel, no bagel, no bagel. Forrest Whitley blue paper. Kruger Industrial sanding and smooth. Really took it on the chin. Grant Little.
I'm about to start running my business like Kruger. Mommy will be like, there's no brakes posted for tonight. I'm not too worried about it. Hold on, water break. What's in the briefcase? Oh, crackers. My baby. Amaya. Six still. Oh, yeah. Did we already have Grant Little? No, we had the Grant Little Atomic. Grant Little, welcome. Autograph Grant Little. Go Hawks. You're on the board. Uh, monsters. We had a Zion to... 25 from Spectra. Um, I don't know. I can't remember. Omni, go Hawks didn't get any good Pelicans the two times he had the Pelicans. I thought he got one of the variations, but I think it, I guess it was Little German and someone else who got him. Did he get nothing for Pelicans two times? Yeah. Well, that's always been true, but it has always been not as fun. I don't like the, the Chinese food dinner one. That one sucks. I can't watch it. It's so boring. Everyone thinks it's like the best thing ever, but it's terrible. And most of season one and two are not really that good. My opinion. I don't even watch the first two seasons. There's a lit. George is so annoying in the early season. He didn't get his thing right. character right yeah season four purple altuve man if we don't start getting some more orange things it's gonna be our sixth and final case of hobby You don't like the butter shave? Oh man. Hey buddy. <laughs> Yellowstone. Oh yeah. I heard about that. Who's in that? The only part I remember from the Puerto Rican day is the part where they're acting like they're going to buy the apartment and 
Dr. Van Nostrum. Oh, no, what is this? No, Penny Packer. I'm a uh, wealthy industrialist. Penny Packer. So wait, what's Yellowstone about? Is it old? Is it set in like old days? Varnson. <laughs> Abrams, Atomic, Modern Western, yeah I can watch that probably, <clears throat> ranchers trying to keep their land. Alec Bond, four ninety nine. Are they on the first season right now? Is that something you do, Go Hawks? Jason Paper. Oh, third season. I just started hearing about it. Blue Zach Thompson. Guess I'm not doing legacy tonight. So 12 spots hasn't budged. Darn, I guess I'll have to do it tomorrow. Or Friday. Is there a time is Ryan still here? Ryan, is there a time when UPS always usually comes or are they all over the place? Uh Lindsay Delgado beats auto. R.L. Duffy. Right, probably went to bed. It's 10.30 out there. Oh, there's a... That's cool. Orange Rookie of the Year Favorites Lux. We need more of that kind of stuff. I like that card. Two orange thingies now. We're rolling in oranges. Bobby Witt Jr. thing. Two black eyes and a bloody nose. Jeez. That sounds really painful. I've never gotten a... I don't think I've ever gotten a black eye. Seems hard to believe. You'd think someone would punch me in the face. Many, many times. So I was like, I ate a hundred steaks and it's not going away. I don't know. Two turntables and a microphone. Where is that? <laughs> I know. I'm surprised just you you'd think just at the grocery store someone would punch me in the face.
I mean, it's not like Drew Locke punchable, but it's pretty punchable. I like Drew Locke now, though. I changed my mind about him. Still totally punchable face, but... I just realized something at it. Bellinger has a punchable face. That's what I mean. I already didn't like his face. I don't like your face. I mean, I don't really want to punch him in the face, but he does. <laughs> I don't really feel violent like that. All right, Bowman. Yeah. He's just not likable. He's a great player on my favorite team, and I don't like him. Was your daughter like super sorry or was she kind of laughing? I don't know what kind of daughters. No, daughters don't really laugh. Pardino. Oh, there's an orange autograph to 25, Tony DeBrell. All of his cards, combo spot orange autograph. I don't know anything about Tony DeBrell, but I know that's a Bowman orange autograph. <laughs> yeah, orange Mets. Kind of matches. Chase. Yeah, I was going to say, did Braun have a punchable face before all the stuff? Posey? No way. He has a beautiful baby face. I love Posey. I hate the Giants and I love Buster Posey. Posey seems like a good guy. I don't know. I've never hated him. Bumgarner, on the other hand. Oh, my God. Number one punchable face for me. Hosmer. <laughs> yeah. I would want to punch Bumgarner in the face, but he would murder me because he's ten times my size and way more athletic and stronger and more of a man in every possible way than I could ever dream of being. So I probably won't punch him in the face. I freaking hate Madison Bumgarner as a baseball player. He was so hard to watch be really good. That's the worst when a guy that you can't stand is just really, really good. Basically wins a World Series by himself. Oh. Omni, mean, you should have seen me back in those days. I don't think I've ever recovered from that. God, that was painful. Drew Waters to 250. The first time they won, I almost died. It was so depressing. And then they won again two years later. And I was like, well, it's not going to get any worse than this. This is the worst that life could ever possibly be. And then they won again. Oh, <laughs> God. Ah, Jason Dominguez, top 100. Three freaking times. What would that even be for you? The Cubs winning? That's not even the same. Because the Cubs kind of are... Well, I guess it's kind of the same. Because the Giants were like lovable losers forever. The Dodgers are supposed to win. The Giants are not supposed to win. Never throwing a punch. 
Do you always have those dreams, though, where you're throwing punches and they're like the worst weak punches that don't go anywhere? I have that all the time. It's like your arms are going like this. <laughs> and you're like, there's no way I punch like this. Like, I've never been in a fight, but I would not punch like that. I have this all the time. Hitting baseball. Yeah, I have basketball dreams. Or like, I'm in, I'm like, those don't go there. Why am I doing that? I'm in a game in like senior year and I can't catch the ball and I can't shoot the ball. It's so lack, it's so weird. It's like everything is going wrong. I've never had a dream where I just like sink a million threes. And... Why is that? Why can't we have dreams where we just rule? Have you ever had that? That droid's being punched right now. Directly between the eyes. Can't even walk. I can't even get through it one night of CSB without some random person punching in the face. <laughs> See it in her eyes. We haven't gotten our autograph, right, from this? The orange was the last box? I can't remember. I guess so, unless it's in this pack. Huh. So it was that box. It seemed like an hour ago. Do we have 10 autographs? Yeah, we do. Mmm, Tarvel's not that big. I mean, he's bigger than an average person, but he's not like monstrous. He just has a booming voice that makes him sound like a giant person. <laughs> Easily VP. Did I tell you the time? I don't know if I've ever told you this, Omni. You know where the uh, Chipotle is over there? Obviously, you know where the Chipotle is over there. I was, I parked in that parking lot right by Chipotle. And I was like preoccupied thinking about something. And I got out of, the, of my car. This is like a while ago. Six or seven years ago. Here's Jason Paper. And I was like kind of walking towards Chipotle, you know, looking at my phone or whatever. Tanner Hout. And this like guy comes up. He's like, hey, can I borrow your phone? And I was like, what? Like I wasn't really... Kind of happened quickly and I didn't know what was even happening. I was like, what? He's like, oh yeah, I just have to like, he said some stupid excuse like, like I don't know my, because there's a bank right there. He's like, oh, I, I don't know my pin and I have to call or something. And I, was, I almost, like I had my phone in my hand and I was going to give it to him. And then I realized like, oh, like this guy's just going to steal my phone. There's no way. So I just sized it up. He just looked like a, a meth head and then so I like took it out and I was like no <laughs> I just said no and he like went crazy James Beard refractor auto Merle Duffy and he started like yelling all the stuff at me and all, there was people in the parking lot and they kind of looked they looked over and <clears throat> I just ignored everything he said, and I, of course, I was still gonna get Chipotle. <laughs> like, I started walking to Chipotle, and then he got in line. It was kind of a long. There's always a long line there, but he got in line too, and he was just standing like four or five people away from me, just talking all this crap. And I thought, like, I'm gonna get in a fight. Like, I'm gonna have to fight this guy. Like, within the next, because I'm not leaving Chipotle. Like, I was really hungry. And I was going to get a burrito. I was doing all this 
math in my head, I was like, okay, I have to get in a fist fight, but then like I'll probably get a burrito afterwards if I'm not hospitalized. You know, like my adrenaline was going and stuff, and I was like, your body, you know, like when you get in those situations, your body's like, start fighting, like we're ready. It's hard to sit there and not fight, even though you're like, don't really want to get in a fight. But I'm all, you know, I'm all ready for it. Garcia. Gold paper. Uh, I don't remember if it was pre or post E. coli. But I wasn't, he wasn't really scary. I mean, he was probably on meth, so he probably had some weird, like, meth strength that I wouldn't have been able to deal with. But I, I figured I could take him. Yeah, I killed him. <laughs> Long story short, I killed a man at Chipotle. Got away with it. Shea Langoliers. And I got a delicious burrito. <laughs> so I killed him. Yeah, I was like, hey, you guys saw it. He was nagging me, so I killed him. Like, what am I supposed to do here? And they're like, no, we know. Yeah, he was just annoying. He was like, asking for your phone. You can kill him. I'm like, okay, good. So no one's going to tell on me? And they're like, no. And they just brushed him off to the back of the Chipotle and I don't know, made burritos out of him or something. Never did figure out what happened to the body. Oh, meth doesn't give you strength. See, I don't know. I've never done them, any of those things. No, but what really happened is I went through the line. I got my burrito, and he was still in line the whole time, like, muttering stuff. And I was like, are we going to, like, if we're going to have a fist fight, could we just... Can we start it already? Like, I'm I'm all ready to go. He never did. And then I got my food and I walked right by him. And he just, like, glared at me. And I was like, okay. It was weird. That's basically it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, don't tell on me. They're like, nah, nah, he had it coming. That was the closest I've been to getting into a fight as an adult. It doesn't really happen. It's kind of hard when you don't leave the house very much, getting fights. Lux. Nope. I wasn't even in any fights as a kid. I got in like a shoving match with a kid in like fifth grade. Then I pushed him to the ground a few times and then... That was it. That's like the only actual physical confrontation I've ever had. Wow. Well, the thing is, when you live in L.A. and surrounding areas, there's so many people that just like the odds of that kind of thing happening are kind of higher. Like one out of a million people is getting in a knife fight. So like just the fact that there's whatever millions of people in L.A., there's knife stuff going on. And you'll hear about it. Jason Dominguez. There was something crazy that happened. Down in Elk Grove at like a bar. Some like shooting a long 15 years ago. It's like the only thing I remember that was really crazy.
Casey Mize is the last atomic. That's not good. I'm sure that happens a lot over the country, all around the country. There's nothing worse than like 40, 30, 40 something year old dudes taking adult sports too seriously. Well, there's a lot of things worse than that, but in some ways, there's nothing worse. I've seen a lot of that in hockey and mostly hockey. Actually, on the it's probably in you can probably find it on the internet at Skate Town over here, the hockey rink. Before I started playing hockey, like twelve years ago or so, a guy like cross checked a guy into the ice. And just kept cross-checking him over and over and over again. And he like sued the... He got beat up real bad and he like sued the hockey rink. And back in the olden days, yeah. The guy got kicked. The other guy got like kicked out of the league forever. And... I don't know what happened with the lawsuit, but... There was a couple times at the end of hockey games where I thought, like, there's totally going to be a fight. Mostly just yelling and posturing. Ronnie Mauricio. We had a guy on our... The first hockey team I was on, we had this guy who couldn't skate worth a crap. The worst ice skater I've ever played with. And he was like... He played for years, and he couldn't even skate. But he was like a tough guy. And I can't even count how many times after the game he would yell to the other bench like, You should see me off these skates. I can, you know, like Something about how he's terrible on skates, but off skates he could totally kick everyone's butt. And it was always so weird because he sucked at hockey. Couldn't even skate to the puck. But then he was like a big tough guy. Oh yeah, the umps. Last auto? Patino. Patino, the Padres. Well, I don't know about this Bowman hobby on me. Maybe we just got a sub average case or something, but there's not enough oranges. I swear, previous years you get like five, six, seven different orange things. Needs more orange. Austin Nola rookie blue paper. Well, uh, we had the orange 
Tony Dibrail. I mean, if that were an orange Wit or Jason, we'd be in, well, yeah, let's do more hobby cases. But it was not. Brandon Howlett to 75. Uh, Valera Blue. Michael Bello Purple. I believe so. Series 2 at 10 a.m. Connor Cannon Sparkles. Well, one of the packages didn't get delivered today that has a bunch of, uh, of Series 2 jumbos. It's supposed to be delivered tomorrow, so now we're not 100% sure. Uh, Dillard. Refractor, Bramer Refractor, Beard Refractor, Delgado, Grant Little, Adam Hall, Patino. Uh, we had an orange wave, Tony Pena, and an orange rookie of the year favorite, Gavin Lux. Those are the only two oranges, I think. Oh, besides the autograph. And then other stuffs. I didn't sleeve this, Dominguez. Glaber Gold Paper. Royce Lewis Gold Shimmer. I just got all the paper and crumbs mixed in here. Shea Langoliers. Garcia Gold Paper. Drew Waters Purple. Abrams Atomic. Volp Atomic was kind of cool. Logan Allen, there's a Wit Chrome. Riley Green. Dozier. Patino. You see the Patino and the Patino? And then I picked up. Oh, there was another Wit Chrome. Might be more. I'll go through them again. Seven wit papers. Five Dominguez papers. Yeah, I'll go through all the paper again. I might have missed one or two. And there was another uh, wit chrome in there. Get all those. No, I don't think so. Does someone keep putting them in their cart or something? Because 